Hi and welcome to Codestein. This is part 27 of how to build the e-commerce website using Django and Vue.js. In this part I'm going to do some refactoring of the code. But first I'm going to fix a bug in the Stripe payment. So if I just go to api.py inside the store app and find this line where the bug is, which is this one because stripe doesn't have this so what i want to do here is to just test here if gateway is razor pay else i set it to this as it did before so if i save now we shouldn't get the error when we try to pay so then i can just say this done so now it's time to do some refactoring of the code. We have a lot of repeating code and things that are not very good. So the first thing I want to do is create a reusable validation function for the cart. So if I open up cart.html and I find this code here, because this code I want to use multiple places later when I implement PayPal in the next video. So if I just copy this or cut it away and go up here, I can create a new function called validate form. And this should just return this sorry return this dot errors dot length okay and inside the validate form we need to do some changes because we don't have access to this data array yet longer we can change this to just this dot first name this dot last name this dot email this is address this dot zip code this dot place and data.phone, no this.phone, like that. So if I scroll down again here where I used to have this code, I can just remove these lines and say this.validate form is zero because this function we created returns the length and save. So now I can use this function multiple places in this script. So now I can go back here and set this task to done. And now I want to create a utility function for decrementing product quantity after a purchase. I'm talking about what I'm doing. For example, here, and I also do this other places in the script as well. So inside the store app folder, I create a new file called utilities.py. And I can just copy this code, create a new function here called def decrement product quant quantity. And I pass in the order. So then I can just have it like this and save. So now I can copy this function name, go to the top here and import it. From dot utilities import decrement product quantity and replace here and pass in the order. This is also used in the webhook.py file so I can import it there from apps.store.models import decrement product quantity and pass in order and save. Perfect. So then I can set this to done. And then I want to create a reusable function for sending the order confirmation. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link to my Patreon in the description below. Which is this one. 
going to copy all of this and paste it in here def send order confirmation pass in the order again now i need to import a few things first i need a rendered string i can just cut it away from there and i'm going to need the email multi alternatives and the render to PDF and what else do I need the HTTP response and save this can just be used in here multiple places yes okay so then I can remove these empty lines so a little bit cleaner and save and I can import the new function like that and I can replace all of this order so now this function looks a little bit better I noticed in here in the webhook.py that I wrote apps.store.models. This is supposed to be utilities and save. And I can copy this and use it here as well. Like that. Just copy the name of the function. So now the code looks a little bit cleaner, perfect. Which means that I now can go back here, set this task as well to done. And then I want to remove the unused checkout function because I don't use this anymore. Just remove it and save. I think I include this in the URLs, yes. So I need to remove it here and from the import. Like that. So then I can save. So now we removed some unused code. I can take away this as well. So this is done. And then I want to clean a little bit inside the create checkout session function because here for example I only use the first name there so I can just cut this and paste it there same with the last name the email and the address zip code, the place, and then the phone. So then I can remove this. So it's a little bit shorter, the code here. Perfect. And then I can take this line and paste it in here together if the gateway is striped because we don't use it before we reach here anyways and save. So now this function looks a little bit better. And I can go to the to-do list and set this task to done. And that was it for this part. In the next part of this series I will implement PayPal. So then we can use the functions we created today as well. Perfect. Hope you liked this video and if you did please click like below and share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And if you want notification, remember to click the bell. See you next time.